On Tuesday, the Maine Public Utilities Commission announced that electric rates for 2022 are rising across the board. The news comes on the heels of already skyrocketing gas and fuel oil prices in Maine, adding to the struggles many Maine families are already enduring just to heat their homes and fill their gas tanks. Hello, I'm Senator Trey Stewart of Aroostook County, and I wish I had better news in this week's Republican radio address. As you may have heard, your bill will increase by an average of 83.2% if you're a customer of Central Maine Power, according to the Maine PUC in their broadcast on Wednesday. If you're unlucky enough to live a little further north in Versant Power's Bangor Hydro District, the Maine PUC said Tuesday that your rates will go up by 89%. Here in the county, rates will go up by 66%. According to the PUC Chair Phil Bartlett, Residential customers in the Bangor Hydro District, which covers most of Penobscot County, as well as Hancock, Piscataquis, and Washington counties, will see their power rates rise from 6.2 cents per kilowatt hour to 11.68 cents. For CMP customers, he said those rates will go from 6.44 cents to 11.816 cents. In both cases, it will increase your average monthly bill by $30 a month or $360 a year for households using 550 kilowatt hours per month. Bartlett said the new rates stem from an increase in natural gas prices, which has driven up wholesale electricity prices across the region. Here in Maine, roughly half of your electric bill is based on supply prices, while the other half covers distribution costs. Electricity supply is not regulated by CMP and Versant. These folks simply deliver the power and collect the supply costs at the levels determined by the PUC. In short, their hands are tied by what the state tells them to do and what to purchase. So how do we get here? Energy policy in Maine and all of New England is difficult. That makes it easier for self-serving environmental groups to push policies that favor wind and solar over more competitive power generation alternatives. This would be like the Department of Agriculture banning the purchase of steak, then requiring all Mainers to eat only kale and lettuce and to buy those vegetables at five times the cost of a ribeye. This is the way Democrats in Augusta think. They don't think you're smart enough to make socially responsible decisions. So they make them for us. Oftentimes, Republicans in Maine have been villainized by this administration and the Democrats for hating the environment when the reality couldn't be further from the truth. I'm a fifth generation county native and have a deep love for our environment here in Maine. However, we can't throw the baby out with the bathwater and push policies that hurt our seniors, our veterans, and others that are on fixed incomes with no way to cover this cost. Instead of looking out for those most vulnerable among us, Maine Democrats took a page out of the DC playbook and double down on their expensive Green New Deal for Maine, which will be paid for each month in our electric bills. On Tuesday, the governor's energy office issued a statement opining that New England relies too much on fossil fuels and the only answer is to move to more green energy solutions. Yes, you heard that right. Too bad, we're going to double down on our position. Governor Mills added, that Mainers should invest more in electric heat pumps. Let's recap. Mills and her foot soldiers in the legislature, drunk on the Kool-Aid served up by big government groups, created this problem by signing above market contracts with wind and solar companies. And then the solution is for you to spend more money installing heat pumps in your house so you have to use even more electricity that they just made more costly. Moving back to our prior analogy, this would be like Governor Mills telling you that you can't eat steak, but that you should definitely build a greenhouse so that you can grow your own vegetables to avoid paying so much for them at the grocery store. Yes, these are actually the ideas that progressive Democrats have been pushing in the Maine State House. It's absurd, every day crazier than the last. The bottom line is that Democrats in DC and Augusta, led by President Biden and Governor Mills, are dead set on policies that support their friends in the environmental movement. After less than one year under President Biden and just under three with Governor Mills, the results are pretty clear. More money to fill up your gas tank, 
more money to fill up your oil tank, and a doubling of your electric bill each month. Not to mention the cost increases on everything else you purchase. It's apparent that Maine Democrats care more about high fives and campaign contributions from solar and wind companies than the folks that they represent. My friends and I on the Republican side of the aisle will continue to defend the wall for those Mainers that are getting up and heading to work in the cold every morning. We are less than 50 weeks away from the next election. Keep these things in mind the next time you hear someone ranting and raving about their electric car. And remember, you're paying the bill. Again, I'm Senator Trey Stewart of Aroostook. Have a great weekend.